Okay, at this point, we're having a torch run. This is something that we normally do in Hawaii. We did it last year. Our unit did and had a great time. And since we can't be there, we're here. We decided just to bring the run here to Iraq. And this is a threefold mission, honestly. One, it uh, raises awareness and proceeds for the Special Olympics. Two, it increases and boosts morale. And then three, of course, physical fitness, since that is, you know, important in the military. Is it difficult to pull something like this off so far out from home? Honestly, no, because we've had a lot of support. Uh, Lieutenant Holton has done an awesome job of getting supporters to send us, you know, stuff to raffle off for the prizes. Um, we've had a lot of people just helping out within the unit, um, a lot of volunteers outside the unit. So a lot of hands in this has made it a lot easier. Okay. So there are prizes today. Absolutely. We're going to give a prize to the first, second, and third overall male and female. And then we have about 19 prize packages that we're going to raffle off. And I'm talking packages, not just a DVD. It's like a package of gifts. Okay. So. Wonderful. What's been the best part of this for you? Honestly, just raising the money for the special awareness. Uh, you know, one of the Army values is selfless service, and we talk so much about that. And this is a prime example of selfless service, that we're over here. People are still donating their time, their money, and taking the time out to recognize that this is for a great cause. That's awesome. Is there anything else you'd like to add, man? Uh, that's it. Can you tell me what's happening today? Today uh, we're hosting the uh, law enforcement torch run. This is in honor of a Honolulu Police Department officer who was killed in 1987. We spent a lot of time with Hawaii Special Olympics. Each year the law enforcement community in Hawaii, to include the military police, participate in this run to raise money for Special Olympics. We decided that we're going to kick it off this year out in Iraq. That's right, military police have, have been participating in this for uh, several years along with our uh, law enforcement brothers in Hawaii. And uh, prior to deployment after last year's run, we decided that it would be a good opportunity to raise awareness for Special Olympics and also do something as a unit that was uh, good for the community. Okay. How difficult was it to get something like this together in Iraq? Uh, we've been working on it for a couple of months. Our entire HHD, uh, commanded by Captain Nikki Boudreau and, and her team, have really put it together. Uh, there's been a lot of support from the, the leadership of 1st Armored Division and the entire Cobb Spiker community. We've, we have excellent turnout. We started selling t-shirts uh, about a week ago. We had 450 t-shirts and we're, we're pretty much sold out. I expect it's going to be between uh, 400 to 500 runners today. Wow. Wow, that's quite a bit. Yeah. Um, tell me, do you feel like events like this are good for morale? Oh, this is great for morale. All Army guys and, and gals love to run, and if they're running for a cause, that's even better. They get a T-shirt out of the deal. Uh, they raise money for Special Olympics in Hawaii, and there's nothing but good about it. That's wonderful. What has been the most satisfying part of this for you, personally? Oh, a couple of things. One, just watching my team put it together. Uh, i got a great team here on the 728th MP Battalion, having them organize it. Uh, having the participation and all the folks show up, and then the big, the biggest bonus is that we'll be able to send uh, a good chunk of money back to Hawaii uh, in support of this fundraiser. Wonderful. Is there anything else you'd like to add this morning, sir? No, that's it. I just uh, thank everybody for coming out this morning, and I hope to have a great run. <laughs>
in our room. Club oh. Biker, March 2008. Yay! All right. Oh, wait. Oh, I think we're going to Ready? Participate in the run, and above all, to carry the torch. So and that is an honor to me, really what it represents. So for those who have given all, to uh, proud of them all. In fact, I'm proud of all Task Force Iron Soldiers, sailors, airmen, and Marines. 
Thank you very much. Uh, I'm Petty Officer Carroll. I'm in the Navy. I'm stationed with the 728 uh, MPs. I'm the electronic warfare officer. I want to give a shout out to all the Navy guys and uh, Special Olympics Hawaii. Uh, hope you guys enjoy. Uh, hope you guys enjoy seeing the footage and just for a good cause. Cool.